But some algae, uh, when conditions are, are favourable, so we have hot, warm summer conditions, not much rainfall, can form blooms. And we have this massive growth of these algae and they can become problematic for a variety of reasons. So on a number of rivers around New Zealand uh, in the last 10 years, we've seen an increase in these toxic algal mats. So they're really distinctive. They're very black, brown in colour, um, shiny black brown and they also have a very distinctive earthy, musty smell to them. So these toxic algal mats produce a nasty toxin. It's a neurotoxin, so it affects our uh, nervous system. And just a small amount, so about one tablespoon, can be enough to kill a small child or a dog. So it's really, really important that um, people who are at rivers um, know what to look for and keep their children away, and, and especially if you've got dogs, because these dogs are attracted to the earthy, musty smell of the mats and they'll eat the mats and they'll suffer a very fast and, um, and painful death. So really advising people to, to get familiar with what these mats look like and to, you know, to make some really informed decisions about whether to use the river or not. So when these, when these mats are alive and healthy, they're attached to the rocks and they often go in the fast flowing parts of the river. But at a certain point in their life cycle, they'll actually detach from the, the rocks and they can float and, and form big floating mats or rafts along the edges and that's particularly high risk because at the edges of the river are often where children are playing or where your dog might go and first drink the river.